So, good afternoon, I think it is by now. Um, switched around uh, some of the workspace here recently and uh, I had trouble connecting uh, to go live. So about an hour and a half, everything looked fine and uh, I think it was just the uh, the steps I took and what I turned on first and second and third um, had something to do with it connecting properly but um, I've been tying most of the morning actually and uh, thought I would just turn the cameras on I haven't done a live uh, video in quite some time hopefully we'll get um, some viewers in um, there's always a lot of good discussion when we do uh, but this was totally unplanned and not scheduled. But um, So I got the cameras on, and let's get set up just so we can see the vise. And for most of this morning, I've been tying these. Uh, it's the uh, Bearded Banana. It's one of the jigs that recently... I've been uh, airbrushing a lot of heads. So it's that uh, pearl yellow with the uh, dark, dark brown uh, on the top of the jig head there. And it's just a natural brown hair, kind of on the dark side, with a yellow bucktail. And it's got a uh, red beard where it gets its name um, the beard I'm uh, adding I'm using just a regular calf tail and I mentioned this in the video I did a month or so ago tying this jig where I used the um, red bucktail just because I had it on my on my table and I was uh, just feeling a little lazy I'm gonna raise up my microphone just a little bit if uh, if you're here if you have a hard time hearing me just you know uh, throw that in the comments and I'll uh, I'll see I should see that pretty quick but um, that should be better um, but for that beard I was just using the red bucktail uh, in tying them today, you could use either or. Um, I, I mentioned also using um, wool yarn uh, is an example that's uh, used in a lot of uh, streamer fly tying. Um, but I like the calf tail, and we'll see as we tie it, um, where because of the texture of the hair, the kind of kinkiness of it, It, it adds to the profile. Um, it, it, it's easier to see from the profile because it does stick down um, because it's of its tech, of its of its texture. <coughs> so we'll uh, we'll just keep tying these, um, answer questions as people come in and out, and open to talk talking about anything. So. We'll see how this goes. I do have a couple others home today, so if we hear some background noise, that is uh, just everyone else in the house. And uh, I'm just checking the volume. I'm checking the uh, microphone again. Let's try something. Never really listen to myself when I um, when I'm tying. It's hard to wear headphones and talk, of course. So volume sounds all right, I guess. So I'm just locking on my regular round nylon rod wrapping thread. This is this thread is from Pack Bay. 
Where's my tools? Bear with me. Scissors and an exacto knife are important. So I begin with just a natural brown. This is from an undyed uh, bucktail. And the brown, like I said, is a little bit darker, at least on the medium side, um, as opposed to um, hair that would be what I would call a blonde, um, a very light um, colored tan. Of course we pick out the short fuzzy hairs from the bottom, any of the broken pieces, and then I restack by hand. Switching my grips and just measuring, I want the tail to be the length of the body past the bend of the hook. When I'm happy with that, switch grips, keep my left hand pinched tight, tight, tight. As I tie this in, that was about five wraps towards the bend of the hook and two or three wraps back towards the head. This next pinch is just a plain yellow bucktail, not fluorescent, banana yellow, kind of where this jig gets its name. I originally tied this, was asked to tie this uh, by a charter captain on Oneida Lake, and this is going back 10, maybe a little, maybe 10 to 15 years or so. And it was a pattern that he really, really liked using and I originally tied this on a banana jig head that um, I think I have one here it might be painted in a different color but originally I would tie it, tie it on this uh, style head in, in a bunch of different sizes and uh, it was just a color that he really liked so there's there's a few uh, local guys here in central New York State that still like this pattern so when I started airbrushing it was one of the colors that I was doing just to practice and, and I had no thoughts of uh, continuing to add this to the inventory um, but I, I had so many guys calling me on it that uh, I decided to add it so I got about nine uh, patterns that I'm going to um, include in my inventory for the airbrushed heads and uh, this will be one of them so as long as the sales uh, remain consistent then I'll, I'll keep producing them but like I mentioned before um, I do not plan on changing over the way I make jigs and I'm not going to airbrush all my colors from now on um, like I've talked about in the past all my paint uh, the paint I use is all epoxy and I have such an uh, inventory of uh, paint, enough to last me a lifetime, um, that just switching over to um, powder for me is, is not a good choice. If I was starting off as a new tire, um, just getting into the business, of course powder paint really is the way to go at this time. But um, I'm still producing jigs the same way the, you know, my father, when he started the business in the mid to late 60s, I guess, is before my time. 
I was born in 66. I think, I think he started the business before I was born. Early 60s, probably. And uh, I've always used epoxy paint from day one, so... these jigs as I snip this hair from the back of this tail there are some white fibers mixed in I don't get too hung up over that I think a little bit of difference in the coloration is just fine um, and in somewhat more natural looking the majority of those white hairs come out when I restack and remove the broken pieces in the shorter hairs from the butt end but there are two or three in there I've been doing a little bit more tying than typical it this time of year usually we are deep in the middle of ice fishing um, on good winters we've been fishing we'd be ice fishing since mid-december definitely since january 1st but we've only been out a couple times this year we had that cold snap and then it just got warm and this morning we woke up to snow but it's 39 40 degrees Which is just awful. So I'm just double checking. I want to make sure the volume looks good. This beard, it's just a fairly small pinch. And I restack just a couple of the smaller hairs or, or the larger hairs that stick out, or I could just pull them right out. That's the nice thing about the calf tail, they're all relatively the same length. As I was wrapping, I turned my vise just so I could make sure that the wraps uh, lined up at the, at the you know farthest away from the head. Make sure that they were nice and clean and neat. real quick. So this is what we're tying. Bearded banana. It's got that yellow pearl paint on the head with a dark dark brown um, fading into the yellow with a natural brown and yellow tail. And it's got that red calf tail beard. It's a nice jig. I did tie a couple of these up and in place of the calf tail I added a uh, red uh, crinkle flash, or a red day. Uh, what I use the new age, the new age crinkle flash, um, which look kind of neat. Um, I'm gonna fish a few of those this spring, and just see how they do. The other 
thing I'd consider in terms of adding flash to this jig is uh, maybe some silver or gold right down the center between the um, brown and yellow bucktail. Being winter time, it is a little bit staticky. As I clip these hairs and try to drop them into my waist waist bag right here. A trick to help manage that is uh, I just take a dryer sheet from the laundry room and uh, as long as it's got the uh, anti-static cling um, stuff on it, whatever that is. Um, you could also use the spray, anti-static spray that you would spray your clothes with and you can um, just spray it in your garbage bag and that kind of helps with managing some of that static cling you experience in the winter months. Forgot to check the clock when we started. We usually We usually uh, tie for about an hour. Probably started about one. I noticed I did not press record on my switcher, which isn't necessarily needed if I'm uh, going live. But I also like to have um, the raw video just so I can I can make small clips or if I wanted to um, just take a piece I don't know maybe do like a greatest hits <laughs> kind of album I don't know but uh, so I, I do like to have a recording of everything a saved copy of everything like I mentioned I was having trouble hooking up to the uh, network here in the house and my camera one has a separate monitor with a timer on it looks like that's been recording for about an hour and a half before we got the uh, connection problem problem fixed so really kind of nerve-wracking because I knew I didn't mess anything up just unplugging from one side of the room and plugging it in on the other side of the room but I don't know if it's I don't think it has anything to do with my equipment I've only plugged everything in once before moving it and it stayed that way for a year um, it would probably be a little bit different if I was you know a wedding photographer uh, or or use my equipment for something like that and I was constantly plugging, unplugging, moving, throwing it in the back of the van, taking it other places, you know, but it's not the cheapest. Don't tell my dad I just clipped a hair with the scissors like that. Just a long hair. I, m I missed it when I <laughs> restacked. I try not to do that ever. But it was just a single hair. I do have a bag of when I use a bucktail and I use up all the white I do save the uh, natural brown I have a bag under my table here so usually when I'm taking the hair from 
a bucktail. The white is already gone. This one I, I just happen to have on my table and it was the shade of brown that I was interested in and uh, I just started snipping from it. I did the same thing. I have a gray tail here too and even though it's been dyed gray it just had a nice dark natural brown where even though it was dyed it didn't change the color of the brown so I've been taking it off of that one too for uh, a lot of these jigs. This is probably I got two more dozen to do and I've tied eight or nine dozen and put them in my boxes for the spring and I will probably paint up and tie another six to twelve dozen of a couple different sizes of this color. Um, I have one more color that uh, I haven't I'm waiting for uh, some paint, but there's one more pattern I want to do. I, I have a perch um, pattern in mind. Now I've done more than one video tying uh, jigs in the perch color. Um, black, orn uh, black, yellow, orange bucktail. Uh, but I usually that's on a solid black head with uh, you know no fancy coloring and uh, I do have a pattern in mind in, in how to paint that head again um, adding it to my um, collection with the uh, as an airbrushed pattern and uh, I might incorporate some green um, I don't think I'm going to change the bucktail color, but I might add um, a dark, dark green as part of the flash, which will also be incorporated into the head color. Um, how it looks in my head <laughs> is perfect. Um, I'm just waiting for a couple colors to come in the mail. And uh, I'm going to start playing with the airbrush. And if the pattern looks good, then I will most certainly um, show at least a video of those heads adding hair to those jigs. So This beard, as I'm measuring, what I'm doing is I'm measuring to the inside bend, um, to the hook gap. And that's the uh, distance I want this beard to extend. It's roughly uh, two thirds of the way um, along the shank of the hook. But if you could envision where the inside bend of that hook shank is, that's where those hairs extend to. kick myself off my I don't see messages and that's what I just stopped um, I just noticed there's we got three guys on right now and I don't see the messages um, because I was talking earlier about the um, hoping the volume was fine um, because of all the troubles I had um, reconnecting everything. Very odd how I cannot see.
the uh, messages. Oh my goodness, we're going to have lots of signing in today. Let's see. See if they come up on my phone. Not sure. Not sure. Phone's not helpful right now. So here's that jig we're doing. It's the bearded banana. That calf tail beard. Thanks for the thumbs up. Um, I really wish I could figure out how um, why I'm not getting the uh, messaging. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Well, we'll keep tying. I am just shocked. I do not know why. I noticed this once before. I was able to um, work around it. I think I, uh, well, it was, it was when I uh, turned off the, you know, kind of signed out and then signed back on, on my monitor here. But that doesn't seem to be making a difference right now. So here I am just taking those broken pieces out of the butt end. Restacking. Again, this pinch has a couple white uh, hairs in it. I don't get too bent out of shape over that. Lock it on with a two, three wraps towards the bend of the hook, a couple wraps towards the head, and then just plain yellow bucktail for the bottom wing. Switch my grip just to make sure that this is the right length. Had terrible trouble getting signed on. Uh, couldn't connect to my network here in the house. But a few weeks ago I moved around my workspace, moved the computer to the other side of the room, and I don't, I don't know if I disconnected something, though everything looked plugged in. But it took me an hour and a half, I got it, got it running. The beard I'm measuring to extend about where the inside bend of that hook is. Two thirds of the way of the, shank, of the hook shank itself. Lock it into place. Still trying to mess with this. I'm trying to. It really bothers me that um, 
I don't have, I can't see the chat. Turn my monitor all the way off. We'll see what happens when I sign back in. Oh look, Jay's live. Let's see what he's doing. Still no chat. So, there's a jig we just tied. What I will do is, um, I'm going to tie for a little bit more. Uh, I apologize for not having the uh, chat on this. I, I really. I'm really kind of lost right now. Not sure why it's not showing up. I'm not a big fan of this new tablet I got here either. And it, it's just a cheap tablet. I'll watch other tires as I sit here and tie um, YouTube videos, and I like listening to all the guys that you find online. I'll just keep this plain. I guess it's better than TV. bugs me one man show here guys I think I would not a very, I, I'm not doing a very good job at managing the equipment I think I'd fire me if it wasn't me Had a couple of people come in and out, and a couple thumbs up. I just disappointed at this uh, messaging, though. Yellow tail's not too bad. Every once in a while I, I find a patch that has some broken tips in it. I don't know if that was just a section that was damaged when they split it. Or if the deer, deer I don't know, got snagged in briars or something. I don't know. bum me out if I go back and look at this and find out there was a bunch of chit chat people talking back and forth and uh, I wasn't able to see the comments I know I posted a comment when I first signed on um, you know when you first uh, connect to YouTube and I usually have that first screen with the countdown timer um, I did post a sentence or two of uh, what we were tying today. I don't even see that on my monitor here. So, disappointing to me.
And I know I, uh, as part of the sign-on, that I allowed comments. I'm sure I did. One last jig. I don't use uh, yellow jigs all that much. Here where I'm fishing, it seems that black and purple and black and white dun and uh, green chartreuse have probably been the most popular colors I can think of off the top of my head over the summer. Did another color recently. If you go back half a dozen videos or so ago, um, it was a ball head jig, a yellow head with uh, blue dun and yellow hair, and that had uh, some tinsel on it as well. Real nice jig, uh, color like I mentioned during the video that I, I not something I I use. Um, or would even think of tying that combination but it was a custom order and I did end up tying a half a dozen of them threw them in my tackle box I'm gonna try them out this spring and uh, see how they work there is a river here I don't know about 40 minutes away uh, towards the north end of the county where uh, I, I've spoken to a couple guys where they swear by yellow. Um, they like to fish yellow and white. So we'll see how that jig works um, this spring. I'll go up north a little bit. Like I said, 30, 40 minutes from here. Not too far. It's pretty close. Still scanning my screen here. I, I really am trying to fix this. I can stop my screen, so <laughs> I can freeze it. And I can hit more, and I can see. How many viewers, how many likes, the title, the date. I can hit more again. I can see the thread that I'm using and the hair. It's going to drive me crazy. What I'm checking here is, is I noticed I uh, put that on pretty quick and I, I just want to make sure that when I do go back with my threads that they line up here and I'm not sure if that shows up on the screen all that well. Is that too much? So this spot right here, the threads aren't quite even. I just want to make sure that I match those up when I uh, finish my collar. So like I mentioned earlier when it it took me about an hour and a half to get the connection problem fixed and it looks like my camera one since that has its own monitor with a countdown timer looks like we've been about two hours and 18 minutes 
though I think we've been tying for about 50 at this point. All right, so we're going to check, make sure that looks good here and here, just to make sure that the uh, the last wrap towards the bend of the hook matches up with the first wraps that we put on, locking on the uh, brown hair. Go ahead, put in the comments um, who's been watching, um, even if you haven't asked any questions or anything earlier. Um, I, you know, that way it'll kind of give me an idea of maybe who's come in and that um, the messaging does work. It's just on my screen. I'm not seeing it really stressing me out right now to be honest kind of kind of bumming me out just listening to myself talk at this point right Again, there's a couple of those white hairs in here. Don't much mind. Doesn't bother me at all. It might not even show up on the um, on the screen. Might have to pick another tail. These are getting a little short. My fingers are at the very butt end. So if I had to go any longer. I wouldn't have much to hold on to. So after this jig, what I'll do is I will go through my bag. I do save the uh, brown backs of the uh, white tails just to save that hair. And occasionally other colors too. Uh, sometimes olive tails have a real pretty the way it, it colors the brown. So I'll save those tails also. So I'll get that bag out. tail shortly as, as well. So this tail as you can see we're up near the top and the calf tail this is uh, there's a few more pinches on this that are usable um, but as you get towards that top the hair gets a lot straighter where it gets longer and it's not awful but I, I usually I'm about to the limit on that tail. Maybe one or two more pinches off of it. and The uh, file cabinet behind me with the smaller drawers, that, that's filled with calf tail. Again, I'm going to check those wraps. Since I'm not paying attention, I keep looking at my monitor and stressing out over the messaging. Just want to make sure those collars stay consistent. I'm 
once I'm finished with this video, I will more than likely, I might go on either later tonight or tomorrow, I'll do another live um, session to make sure I get that uh, messaging uh, issue corrected. Um, maybe it was part of when I first signed on, maybe I didn't. Um, click the button to OK it. I don't know. Can't for the life of me figure out why I don't have the messaging on this uh, monitor. You know, I have a tablet here just set up like I was um, another viewer. Driving me crazy. So let's look for another tail. So I keep this bag under my desk. It's filled with tails to the top. Um, this bag, Giant Food Markets, uh, was a local grocery store chain that was bought by Weiss. And it's 20 plus years ago. <laughs> Maybe 25 years ago. That's, so this bag is old, old, old. So um, here's a perfect, perfect tail. I, I must have used it last time I was tying these. Um, kind of a medium dark. It's got the uh, darker brown and gray at the base, and the hairs are a little bit lighter at the tips. A nice natural brown. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, this one I saved. It's one of those cream tails, but again. The brown on the back just has a nice um, dark color for both of these. Um, and what I was explaining, this is an example of one that would be a little bit too light. It's a nice natural color um, that I might use for something else, uh, but for for this head, for this this pattern, um, it's definitely. Um, too light. Here's an orange tail I saved. Just um, I was using some of these center uh, hairs. They have a really nice um, coloring to them, almost like a squirrel tail, but a little bit longer because it's puck tail. Of course, I keep a bag of mothballs in here to keep out the cut flies, the cut worms. Again, here's um, just an old used olive, but again, the hair on the back, um, the color pattern is a lot like a squirrel tail. So I'll save those. I'll save those if they're a nice, if they're a nice pattern. And this um, here's an example of the brown on a fluorescent yellow. But it has a nice yellowy olive color to it. So I don't save every tail scrap, but um, those are just examples of you know tails I, I find useful. You know this one we're going to use all the way up, um, so we'll get. You know, a full tail's worth, you know, get our money's worth out of this tail. Black, you can do that too as well. Brown, um, because this brown section will be um, dyed nicely. Some tires are very picky on the, um, the tail, even the section of the tail that they use as a production tire. I don't always have that luxury. Um, you adjust your techniques and you adjust your style um, to account for the differences from tail to tail or even the hair on the same tail um, to make jigs that are consistent and look identical side by side. 
and you know you want them to work correctly and whatnot but um, I don't have the luxury of being able to only use half a tail I got to get as much use out of my materials um, to make it profitable um, so there's some give and take I guess um, and that's something I, I that's a, that's a topic I, I would love to dip into actually and kind of explore that I know what my thoughts are um, basically um, but at the same time I you know talking those things out with others um, either you know either uh, what's the word I'm looking for it either supports what I'm thinking um, or gives me another perspective you know maybe uh, changing my mind on the topic I don't know so maybe I'm a little off base maybe I'm right on target I don't know over the years I could think of examples where you might hear criticism of your jigs not that they're necessarily badly done um, you know people are you know you might compare them with somebody who only does custom type work and uh, make comments like well there's no tinsel or you know you don't you're not using powder paint but there's reasons for that and um, as a production tire you are always making decisions on you know yeah I can do all sorts of fancy jigs but if I'm only selling a hundred a season at three dollars a piece five dollars a piece is that worth it then if I sold hundreds of dozens to stores at a wholesale price so some tires would be offended at selling their jigs wholesale I, and I, I guess I know that. I don't necessarily. I wouldn't consider them a real business, in that sense. You know, it's. I don't know. It's one of those things. It it's better to discuss when there's some back and forth. So. We'll get into that topic, I think, at another time. I'm going to finish up this one. We've definitely been tying at least an hour now. We will kind of call it a wrap after this jig and I'll start adding the um, head cement to these. Oops, what am I doing? Um, we'll add the head cement to these and um, I'll figure out the um, leaving a message what my problem was with that and like I said I'll either go on later this evening because I'm, I'm gonna be tying all afternoon weather outside's crappy it's rainy and 38 degrees um, I know some guys are out ice fishing on some of the smaller lakes locally but it's starting to be a little bit dangerous with the warm weather and the rain we've had cold nights but not cold enough to really make a difference to get us through a warm day so I'm just gonna sit inside and tie Bearded Banana G 
jig that I originally tied as a custom at a, uh, as a custom uh, pattern requested by a charter captain on Oneida Lake here in central New York State. And this is with the uh, newer airbrushed heads, that pearl yellow. And I, and I don't know if the camera shows that well enough. Um, the pearl is a really neat color. Um, it's got a little bit of uh, silver flake kind of in it. Not quite like a candy apple. But it, it does have a really nice color to it compared to a solid yellow head. Let's see if what do I got here. Here's a solid yellow head. Is there a difference? Can you see a difference in that? Pearl's really nice. Um, and then it has that dark, dark brown on the top. And then that calf tail beard. So I think that will do it for us this afternoon. I'm going to work on <laughs> the connection problem and figuring out um, why I didn't have um, the messaging capabilities. I couldn't see even if people were typing things. Um, all sorts of difficulties in getting the show going on today. So, but I will um, possibly be on later this evening after dinner sometime um, or tomorrow afternoon once I get um, the uh, connection issue uh, s straightened out. Not sure why that is. Um, this is the second time it's happened and the first time it seemed to correct itself. I don't know um, what the issue was today but um, I thank everybody for popping in. Um, it'll be nice to see maybe after the fact if there was some good conversation going on um, but that'll do it for us uh, today. As always, uh, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new content, uh, especially when I do these uh, live type things. Um, feel free to share any of our videos. It does help uh, with the awareness of the channel. Um, keep tying. Until next time, guys. Tight lines.